check, check, check. Hey, y'all already know, MB promotion, no paper, no pen, our everyday life. Hey, entrepreneurs on the rise, y'all already know, featuring me, MB promotion. Showing y'all a little bit of what I do, man. We got an event right here, January the 27th, right here in Tampa, Florida, 5508. I'm gonna show y'all just a little bit of what I do. I do a lot more, but we'll get back to that later. Entrepreneurs on the rise. Let you go ahead. I ain't, I ain't gonna do it today. Go ahead. I'm, right. I'm sitting back. <laughs> I'm sitting back today. I know, no, no. Alright, so we also have another vendor here, and we are going to allow them to give a little testimony or a little snippet of what it is that they are about. Um, I saw them on Facebook actually with a guy named Damon, and basically, what it is a feminine product for the menstrual cycle. Thirsty. And uh, it was very interesting to hear how Damon said that the products we use are not sanitary at all. So I'm not going to bash the information. I want the experts to give it to y'all because I saw it. So, hey, <laughs> All right. So, yes, uh, the products that are on the shelf right now, with the chemicals uh, that are in them are not good for us as uh, females. Um, and our product is more sanitary, even the packaging, when it comes, if you take a look at it. Okay? So our product... Uh, helps eliminate cramps, odor, balance, and pH level, and hormones. And so we're on our awareness campaign to make people aware of the harmful effects that the current sanitary napkin and tampons have on women's bodies. And so that's what we uh, are, you know, letting people know. But also, second part of that, we're, mo we're more than about that. And I want to say this. We have an awareness campaign on the right to fight. It has to do with men. Prostate, and I'm going to let my business partner Greg talk more about that. Okay. Okay. How y'all doing? I'm Greg Sistrong, and uh, before I get into the prostate piece, I just want to start off by telling y'all about how I found Inspire. I was sent a video back in January, and after I looked at it, and what really compelled me was that you know, Devon Crump, which is one of our trainers, did the demonstration. He talked about the first thing that he thought about was his wife and daughters. Immediately, I remembered as a single father, my daughters used to cry and not want to go to school because they were hurting so bad they were crying. And in my ignorance, I would make them go. And I would say, you're going to school, you just don't want to go. And then I realized when I saw that, that no, I was ignorant to that. And because of that, it actually made me very, very emotional. So I realized that because of that, I didn't want young women or any women to suffer anymore. So I then shared that video with Jackie. After she called me back and said, wow, we knew we were on the same. Right. So we researched the company, the leadership, the urologist and gynecologist, the product. We researched the ingredients that I never knew what negative ions were. Mm -hmm. So we did Google that, found out what negative ions were, which is a very powerful force. And so when we realized that we were on something, we called the guy back and said, what do we need to do to get started? And at that time, hey, okay, just sign up and start rolling. February that it was bigger than I thought. So I quit my job. Wow. I was working as a district manager, been in restaurants over 25 years, and I knew that this was bigger than that. So I walked away from my job. Everybody said I was crazy. <laughs> but from that point to July, we never had product. We finally got product in July. Then Jack and I started giving the samples out that we promised the women once we actually had it. It just kind of exploded from there. Wow. So that's kind of like my own little story. This is a phenomenal company. And what Jacqueline was talking about is we do have other nutraceuticals and the right to buy campus. And it's trying to hopefully help over one million men potentially not have to go through the suffering effects of prostate cancer and treatment. And we're going that through seminars, webinars, conference calls, community awareness events. 
is just being with you with the information out. So one of the one things I want to ask anybody out this team is, is please come out and get this information. It's the most important thing. If you get the information, we'll let you validate it by giving you samples free to see for yourself. And so for me, it's the biggest thing. And I just want to say that uh, this is a sharp young lady here, y'all. I mean, I, I thought I was a fireball when I was younger, but she is truly inspiring for me. And I'm going to make sure she has products today so that she can now have her own personal testimony. And any women out there that's looking, we want to make sure we have a product. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well. My name is Greg Sistrong and I'm an in, uh, distributor with this phenomenal company called Inspired Network and my story is all my life I've been an entrepreneur when I was uh, 17 and my first job was at a hospital and someone introduced me to Amway that was way back in the 70s and the only thing I understood about it then that I could do something for myself and have unlimited time and income. That's all I understood. And when I brought that product home, my mother told me that if I didn't get that stuff out of her face, you know, <laughs> <laughs> throw me out. And so, needless to say, I had to stop that dream, but always chase stuff. And uh, my whole life, I was doing anything you can probably imagine, but what was so different about Inspire when you came to me? I was pretty much done. I had to finish some stuff and I said, you know what, never again, but I had to drive myself to just working the rest of my life. Very unhappy. And somebody sent me this video and just merely said, Greg, watch this and tell me what you think. I watched it and what got me most about the video is when our leader, Jamal Trump, was doing this demonstration. He mentioned that he didn't see it as a business opportunity, but he thought about his daughters and his wife and how they had suffered. And immediately, it's like something hit me, and I remember as a single father raising two daughters, they used to suffer. They would cry because they were be so heavy and cramps, and they wouldn't want to go to school. And I would make them go because I said, I'm going because you just don't want to go. But they were straight A students. So it wasn't that they didn't want to go to school, I was just ignorant. And from that moment, I realized that, you know, what can I do now to maybe help other women never have to go through that again? So I then sent the video to Jacqueline. I just said, give me your opinion. I just want you to look at this and tell me what you think. And when she called me back, she said, wow, I knew right then that we were on the phone. So we started doing our due diligence. We researched the company. We researched the leadership. We researched the product the urologist and gynecologist of everything we could do to validate it. And when we did our due diligence and realized that it was what it was supposed to be, I then called the guy back to send that video and asked him, what can we do to get started? He said, at that time, it was free, just registered. So we did. And so what I did is started sending that video out to everybody in my phone. Over 400 women came back and said, wow, where can I get that? So in February, I quit my job. I used to be a district manager for restaurants, 25 plus years. I got out of the military and uh, loved it. was the best out there, but I knew this was big. So I walked away from my job in February. And from February until mid-July, we never had products. All we had was a campaign, making people aware about the harmful effects that the current sedentary life and the current product we had a much healthier solution and to validate it we'll give it to you free that sample. Mm -hmm. I knew it was big. And so July came, we got product, started calling these people, reaching out, hey, got some samples, here you go. We started giving they started validating them. Like I say, from that point on, y'all, it just kind of exploded. So we're out here doing what we can do to get this information out. We do community awareness events, we go to churches and speak to church groups, women groups. Uh, schools, just anything to just get in front of one of the medical facilities, anything to get this information out. And anything you all can do to put us out there, we will come wherever and do what we can do to spread this away. Okay, I'm Jeff, and this is
that first thought that I had. And so now it's like, wow, you know, there is a better, you know, solution to that. Uh, my own personal testimony in reference to that was, you have to do with that. But the way it said that the chemicals that are in the current uh, pads right now to where I probably, I think it was like two and a half years ago, had to have some kind of a procedure, you know, and then it's like, oh, okay. So I thought back to that. That's where my mind went for me. And then probably uh, the following, about a year and a half after that, I had to have it again. And so it's like, wow. So it makes me wonder that maybe, you know, what was in, what this hands on and the sanitary napkin caused that. Because uh, with OBGYNs and the different research that's out there, you know, and what these pads are made of, the trash, uh, the wood fibers, and uh, they bleach it, you know, to make it white. So all of these things are going into with maybe our system. So cause and effect that eventually something is going to happen. Okay, 600,000 hysterectomies are performed a year, many, many of them unnecessarily, and it's been linked back to the toxic pads. Of course, tampons never have been good for you. So if you will allow me a couple of minutes, what I'd like to do is share something with you. I appreciate your patience with this. This is the uh, pad that's on the market now, okay? How many of you ladies in the room, we'll be a 10 hour pad. How many ladies in the room have ever, uh, a pad has ever lasted you 10 hours? Okay, and the other thing I want you to know is to see that opening there? So how is that sanitary? Okay, our pad, our Cherish, pink label here, okay, signifies our Cherish is pink, that's the day pad, okay? It's not, it's sealed totally around. Okay, that's the first thing I wanted you to notice. So indulge me, please. So I'm going to put the header pad, as you call it, here. I'm going to get into this, like I said, our is sealed. So I know that the young lady that was here earlier had actually seen this demonstration, but she had seen it enough in order to know how powerful that is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour 50 OBGYN say when a wound cycle, uh, she excretes 15 to 50 milliliters on average. Some women less, some more. Okay? So, having said that, let me turn this around so I see. So. Okay, so, can you accept that that's 50 milliliters? Do you see where that's at? Okay, so that's 50 milliliters. And I want to pour that onto the comparison. Uh, about the pads, 
drier, and it also has the tendency, or the ability, should I say, to shorten a woman's cycle. And what uh, Dr. said is this it, what doctors are saying that uh, companies are putting things in the past. I don't know how to do this, it's research it. You know, like God did it, like they're telling us so that women do need more. Is that true? You know, things are out there. So there are a lot of different things <coughs> that are going on with that. And our, our job, we feel as the students for this company, <coughs> is to inform people, you know, about that. And real quick in reference to me and why I got involved, I was in retail for 22 years. Okay, working 12, 14, 16 hours a day, it depends on what day it was. And I've always, I've done several things in the past, and I've always wanted to get away from what I call that rat race. Okay, and when Greg sent that video to me, immediately I saw that vision. You know, as long as women, okay, there's many, many of us, there'll be many, many more of us, are having our cycles, there's income. Okay, so thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, guys.